in the last video we discussed everything about floor how to create floor how to match a pint load with adding pints and grid lines how to duplicate the floors in this video we are going to discuss about a roof a roof part is also similar to the floor part the same thing we will do in a roof also to draw a roof for this room i will go to any one of the floor plan only one level we have so i will select zero level the additional things we drawn for floor part i will delete here go to 3d and i'll select all these things and i will click on delete now i will draw a roof for this room for that one i will go to here architecture tab under architecture tab i will select roof option here drop down button is there i will open this drop down button here you can see lot of options are there a roof by footprint roof by extrusion a roof by face these are the types of roofs and here three options are there like so fit fascia and gutter these are the additional part for the roof these three things i will show after roof completion first i will select roof by footprint and it will ask for a level now we are drawing a roof for a level 0 that roof will come in the height of level 1 so i will click on level 1 here and i will click on s now we are in draw mode here i will select line or i will select rectangular in the beginning of video itself i mentioned roof part is almost similar to the floor part the creating roof as well as floors method is almost similar as of now i will select rectangular and i will click on this point to this point still we are in drawing tool after the placing these lines it will ask for a angle here you can see here all the sides angle symbol is there that angle symbol is represents slope of the floor here you can see defined slope is checked in if i didn't change anything and i'll click on ok let's see what will happen i'll go to 3d view you guys can see here roof came like this because we didn't change any slope angle so all side it took the slope we will try another method with the changing slope once again i will go to top view i will select the roof and i will click on edit footprint now i will remove the slope any two side just i will select this line and i will remove the slope similarly this line also i will remove the defined slope and i will click on ok now you guys can see the roof came like this similarly we will check another method also once again i will select the roof and i will go to edit footprint and i will uncheck angle for this line and this line and i will do here uncheck and i will provide angle to these two lines i will select these two lines and i will provide a defined angle here and i will click on ok now you guys can see here the roof came like this if you don't want any slope for the roof just edit the footprint select the line those side have slope angle and defined slope and click on ok now we got a plain roof i will go to zero level and i will go to this sectional view now you guys can see this floor came to this exact to level one but our point load is here for that one i will select i'll select the roof and i will move this floor to downward to match the point load by using arrow mark on keyboard or you can just select the floor and you can use here move option also now you guys can see roof matched exact to point load but here roof thickness is looking little bit more we can reduce the roof thickness by duplicating the roof just i will create a duplicate roof i will select the roof and i will go to here edit type and i will click on duplicate and i will name it as a 100 mm thickness and i will click on ok and then go to here structural part edit type here structure part is 225 mm is there just i will make it 100 mm and i will click on ok once again i will view apply and i will click on ok now you guys can see floor matching to pint load now this floor is basic roof floor but here roof looking like bit more thickness so we will reduce that one by i will select the roof here we can change the roof type by drop down here you can see few options are there here i will select roof type generic 125 mm thickness now it's looking better but here wall and roof are getting clashes and it's coming bit outside from the roof level to align it proper i will go to 3d view you guys can see here wall is coming out from the roof level so i'll select all the walls side walls and here one option is there attached to base or top so we are attaching all the walls to the top of this roof so i'll select attach here and then i'll select this roof now you guys can see wall and roof got attached you guys can see here this proper method similarly we can do here for floor also just little bit extend floor to this point and and attach all the walls to the floor and in roof also we can draw different shape of the roofs like whatever we created why doing floor part that one i will show here for that one i'll go to 3d view here and here i will create different shape of the roof once again i'll go to here architectural part and i'll select the roof and i'll select roof by footprint and i will select roof option and i'll click on ok here you can create a multiple shape of the roof 
I'll select circular here and I'll click on OK and I will finish the operation. You guys can see here this roof got formed. I will change this roof form into generic roof. You guys can see here. If you don't want this cone shape, just select the roof and edit footprint and remove the angle. So select this lines and uncheck the defense slope and I click on OK. Now you got flat roof. Similarly, I'll create another shape. I will click on roof and I will click on create similar. Yes, OK. This time I will select polygon and I will click on OK here. Six side polygon is there. You can change number of polygons into here by clicking by changing here slide. If you want it, you can change it also. So you will get eight side. I will click on OK. No, we are not changing the defense slope. I will give finish here. You guys can see here. We got a polygon roof here. And also we can change this height of this edge point. I will select the roof and here I will change the slope. I will change it to 45 and I will click on OK. Now you guys can see it's got changed. If in case the roof shape is uneven, then we can change the roof shape by adding split line and points. Like whatever we did in while creating floor. Like I will create one more roof. I will remove all the slope. Now it's a plain roof. Think suppose this roof is not even like the shape is uneven some bend at this middle portion or this end corner so we can change that also by adding split line or add point if i select this roof you guys can see here three options will come add point add split line and pick support here i will add a split line here from middle to this middle point now i will change the height of this two point for that one i will select the roof and here i will go to modify this sub element and i will select this point here it's showing 4125 mm height from the zero level. I can add the value and I can move above or down. Arrow marks are here. I'll just drag this arrow mark up. Or I can select arrow mark down. If I select up, it will look like this. Similarly, I can add the point. I'll select the roof and I will add point to the roof. Just I'll select add point and I'll click random point here and here. Now you can see these points are at equal to this point. If you want to move these two points above or below, just select the roof and go to modify sub element. Let's select this one. I'll change this value to 4200 and this value I'll change to only 4000. Now you guys can see the roof is look like uneven. Like this, you can add more points and split line to exactly match the floor to the point load. This is a one method to draw a roof by its footprint. Another method is there here by extrusion or by face. I will show by extrusion now. For that one, I will draw here four walls. Now I will go to front view here. We want a roof for this face. For that one, I will select this face. Now we are going to draw a roof by extrusion. For that one, I will select here roof under roof, roof by extrusion. And I will select a pick line. Now we are drawing a roof for this building. Think suppose we need a roof for this building. From this face to this face, we are creating a roof by extrusion. For that one, we have to select a face. So I'll select this face and we'll click on OK. Now I will go to that face and I will draw a roof from here to here. Then click on OK. Now you guys can see we got a roof by extrusion and we can match this roof to this wall. For this side also, I will match to this wall and for this side also, I will match to this wall. This is roof by extrusion. To fill this gap, just select all the walls and attach wall to the top. So you guys can see. Now it got attached to the roof. Or you can edit this roof profile to any shape. Once again, I will select the roof and I will go to edit profile here. And I will change this roof profile into a little bit different. And I will click on OK. You guys can see we got a curved roof here. This is how to draw roof by extrusion.